The worst way to get data into a cell is by typing it. Not only is it slow and boring, it is also prone to errors and misspellings. Fortunately, Excel has a much better way of entering data, all by just the click of your mouse. The best way to, to enter data into a cell is just to select from a menu. Nice little button appears. Click on the button, gives you a list, and all you need to do is click whatever you want, and it goes into the box there. Isn't that nice? That's called data validation. Data validation in general basically just prevents entering the wrong data into a cell. You can choose to have only whole numbers or decimal numbers or dates or text to go into the cell. But the real power of data validation is when you do when you use data validation lists, which allows you which which enables you to choose only items from a list. So there'd be no misspellings there. All you need to do is just click. No typing needed at all. Let's go to our next sheet, which is order form one. And as you can see, this is pretends to be an order form for Shake Shack. And we've got some menus here. We've got the item menu here with all the different uh, products and the prices. And what we're going to do is fix up this order form here. So instead of having to type in the items, we can just choose from a list. Let's click here. But before we do that, let's make it a little bit easier for ourselves. We can put names onto cells or groups of cells. We, yes, we can put names on cells and it makes it easier. So instead of saying G7, we could say total sales. Or instead of saying the range H8 to H23, we could say menu items. And it makes it a lot easier to understand formulas that way. And it's pretty simple to do. Uh, the easiest way is just to select the cells and then put the name into the name box. Or a quick way is to select the cells plus the label. Then you can go to the formulas tab, click on create from selection, and just indicate where the label is located. So here are the cells here that we want to name, these green cells. We want to put a name on this group here. So if we just select all the green cells, and the simple way to do it is to just select the cells, and up here in the name box, just click in the name box and type in the name that you want to put there, okay? The other way to do it is to select not only the green cells, but also the label at the top. Click in the label at the top, and I'm going to do a shortcut. I'm just going to hold down the Control and the Shift key, and just tap the down arrow key, which selects the whole group there. So basically, I've selected all the green cells plus the label at the top. And now I want to create the uh, label, for, create a name for that. So I will go up to the Formulas tab, click on the Formulas tab. And in the Define Names group here, there's an option here for Create from Selection. Well, I did the selection. Now I'm going to create a name from that selection. So just click on there. And says, okay, well, where is the label? It's in the top row, okay? It's at the top there. So I'll just click OK. And now these cells are all named. These cells are all named. And if I go up here into name box and I click here, and this menu item right there, click on this, it selects the cells that are in that group there, all the green cells. Okay, now that I've selected, now that I've created this name, I can now use it either in a formula or in my data validation. Now, to, for, I, want to put, I want to put data validation on this pink cell here. So I will go up where I go up to the data tab. And over here in the right side, there's data tools. And one of these buttons right here, this one right here, is the data validation button. So if I click on that, it brings up the data validation uh, dialog box. And you can, you can change the data validation. So we can have different choices in here. You can limit it to whole numbers, decimal numbers, and dates and times, but we want to do a list. We want only certain items from a list. So we'll click on that and it's okay. Where is this list located? Well, it's asking for source and I can type in what the name is. Remember we put a name here. I can type in equals menu item. That's the name of that list or shortcut is to use another function key F3, the F3 function key. So just to uh, put that in there, that brings up a list of all the names and here's my menu items right here. Let's click on that, click OK. It puts it in like that, equals menu item. That's all we need. Click OK. And what happens now? We have a little checkbox here, a little checkbox. Well, not a checkbox, not an arrow, a list arrow. And then we can, if we can just go here, click on this, and we can choose. Look at that. We can choose whichever one. We click on this again. We can scroll down. Go down here, get the shakes, whatever you want to put there, okay? So that's a nice little feature. So we don't have to type anymore. We can just click from the list. I'm going to go up here and go up to the top. Okay, we're going to put a little blank there, or a little dash for blank. And then let's copy that to the rest of the cells in that column. We're going to put my pointer right on the fill handle, drag it with the left mouse button down to the bottom, and there it is there. So you can see, it has the pink color just to indicate that the that this is a data validation. In real life, you don't need to put the pink color there, but it's, it's helpful for, 
for us just to know. And so there, in any one of these, we can go here and click and we can choose which item we want to put there. Okay, well, I'm going to leave that as a blank for now. Okay, but now I have the problem here. I want to put in the price. And I could use data validation again to just choose the price, but there's a chance, a real good chance, I could choose the wrong price and put it in there. That's not good. Don't want to lose money. So I don't want to overcharge my customers. So I'm going to go here and just choose something here at random. I'm going to choose maybe a, um, a vegan shack, whatever that is. There we go. And now I want to get the price in here. So I'm going to use a different technique for that. I'm going to use the very powerful lookup tool for that.